Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to do very cool things with materials. Materials is a simple way to give your objects life. Like, you can make water, wood, very interesting things with materials. It just makes your render more interesting than a gray block. So you have your starting cube here. Kill it. Add. We're going to want a icosphere. Subdivision 4. Or 5. Subdivision 5. It's kind of good looking. Okay, you got your icosphere. Now, we want to materialize it. So, down here, Pac-Man, piece of paper, sphere. Hey, look at that. You click on it. And it has these two windows. Both They're both basically blank. But then there's link to object. Make sure you have OB selected and not ME. You'll want OB selected. So you press add new. And you have a new material that you can now edit. Now before I do this, you gotta check one thing. When you go back to the render settings, under renderer, make sure you have ray on. That allows the blender internal renderer to do ray tracing. Now, um... You go back here, and you turn R, G, and B all the way up to the max, so you have white. We're going to do glass. Then you turn the alpha way down. Now over here, there's Z transparent. This is one way to get it to work. You can have that do transparency, or you can do it the fun way, which is ray transparencies. This will allow for much better transparencies and also refractions the IOR is refraction rate now I'm going to warn you right now this goes up insanely fast 1.09 does some pretty extreme refractions next two options are Fresnel and factor the Fresnel effect gets rid of like the blur and the mist and the like whole foggy look of the texture or material and factor is how fast that does that and now down here there's this depth this is going to say how many times you can have refractions you're going to want to turn it all the way up to 10 now you have your material set up make sure your camera is pointed at the object right and you press F12 and it renders and uh oh you see that you can't see your material very well that's because if you can see it well, then you're lucky and you have lights. But if you can't see it well, then you got to add a lamp or some other source of light. Otherwise, there's no light to go off of and you can't see refractions, you can't see reflections. Now that you can, you can see that this is a transparent object. We, we'll be able to see it better if I do one real quick thing. To see it better, you can add a mesh of a cube. Now, you, you can't see it. Turn Z, and it's inside your... Uh, little icosphere there so we'll be able to see that cube once we render now see that you can see that cube that's a good sign that you've done the, your material right and it is completely transparent there's one way to do glass that's all I have to tell you bye